नमस्कार इंडियन सोशल क्लब ओमान संस्कृति विंग वेलकम्स यू फॉर टूडेज सेशन ऑफ योगा प्रैक्टिस बींग कंडक्टेड अंडर द पैटर्नेज ऑफ इंडियन एम्बेसी ऑफ मस्कट एज पार्ट ऑफ आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव दिस सेशन इज पर्टिकुलरली एम्ड एट प्रोफेशनल वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम ड्यूरिंग वर्क फ्रॉम होम we tend to sit in different postures and for longer hours which could be detrimental for our health maybe we may be hurting our back spine we may develop so many neck related issues and of course uh, the metabolism related issues as well this session is particularly aimed at the professionals working from home we have included various asanas that are useful for improving the well being of a professional who is working from home uh, my colleague mr cb singh and myself sunil chhabra are going to present this session and to begin with let's start with the prayer please join your hands and sit in any of the comfortable postures संबो मनासी जानता भागम यथा पूर्वे संजाना उपासते संजाना उपासते संजाना उपासते let's all stand with our feet shoulder width apart we will be doing some warming up exercises from head to toe starting with our eyes we will rotate our eyes anti clockwise five times and clockwise five times make a big circle of the eye ball don't move your head just the eye ball should move once you come back go in the now extend your right hand parallel to the ground with thumb pointing to the ceiling and look at the farthest object in your room and then the tip of the thumb and then bring it closer to your eyes till you see two images of the thumb and then just take it back repeat it three times take it back This is a very good push exercise for improving eyesight myopia related issues come back now we are done with our eye exercises massage our upper eye bone and lower eye bone with the tip of the fingers and the thumb Now let's start with some neck exercises. Word of caution for those with spondylitis and neck related issues. Be just be careful while doing. Just be aware of your physical condition. So let's begin. Exhale and bend your neck forward till your chin touches your try to touch your chin to the softer part of the neck. Now with inhalation come back to the normal position. and with inhalation go further back bend your back backwards head backwards and slowly come back to the normal and now again once more time bend forward and backward now sideways bending of the head with exhalation bend your head to the right try to touch your ear to the shoulder in the final position or as much your body permits now come back to the normal position bend to the left side with exhalation and come back one more time to the right side come back 
one more time last time to the left side come back now side is turning of the head with exhalation turn your head to the right till your chin is parallel to your shoulders be be just respect your body limits don't try to exert come back to the normal position with exhalation now turn to the left side come back one more time to the right side come back and now left time to the left side and come back now rotation of the head five times anti clockwise and five times clockwise remember when your head is going up you inhale and when your head goes down you exhale when you come in front your chin touches your softer part of the neck when you are on the sides you are touching the shoulder is the ear is touching the shoulder now in the opposite direction do it slowly do it carefully don't be in a hurry come back now shoulder exercises join your feet together palm hands are down now raise your both hands up with inhalation with palm facing in the opposite directions stretch your hands maximum up 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 your biceps should be touching your ear and slowly come down with exhalation inhale and once up more time raise your both hands up and be in this position for 10 seconds or more as your body permits and slowly come down now we will be rotating our shoulder joint put your both hands on the top of the shoulder blades join your elbows in front and now rotate it anti clockwise five times and clockwise five times so we do anti clockwise first five times and clockwise five times in the opposite direction now and come back now extend your hands in front clap your hands up and down and to the sides now clap your fingers like a rubber band and come back now extend your hands in front parallel to the ground palm facing each other and now with exhalation turn to the right side in the final position your left hand should be on the right shoulder and only the right hand is straight and back and chin is parallel to the right shoulder now with inhalation come back now bend to the left side turn to the right left side and slowly come back one more time to the right side and slowly come back last time to the left side and back now we will be bending sideways keeping your right hand down fingers pointing to the ground raise your left hand up palm facing the opposite direction 
with exhalation bend to the right side try to touch your the side of the knee with your right hand head is straight and slowly come back now raise your right hand up bend to the left side with exhalation bend to the right left side try to touch the side of the knees with your left hand now and slowly come back to the normal position inhaling one more time raise your left hand up bend to the right side and slowly come back last time raise your right hand up bend to the left side and slowly come back now we will be twisting our trunk or the mid rib anti clockwise 5 times and clockwise 5 times so here we go make a big circle remember your legs are straight knees are not bent only the upper body is moving and we come back Now join your feet together. Now raise your right leg up and bend your lower leg from the knees. Now extend and bend, extend and bend. And in the final position, just catch hold of your ankle and stretch your right leg backwards raise your left hand up maintain your balance and slowly come back now with the left leg raise your left leg up thighs parallel to the ground lower leg bend at the knees and then close and open open and close five times catch hold of your ankle raise your right hand up and slowly come back to the normal position now raise your, again raise your right leg up now flap your feet up and down five times and then rotate it anti clockwise five times and clockwise five times come back and now with the left leg up and down movement of the feet and rotate it anti clockwise five times and clockwise five times come back to the normal position now we will be done. we are done with our warming up exercises now we will be doing some standing asanas which are useful for the professionals working from home so we will start with tadasan join your both legs together both hands in front parallel to the ground interlock your fingers inside out raise your right raise your both hands up with inhalation stretch your both hands up 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 maximum and raise your heads keep watching a object in front of you for balancing and for concentration and slowly come back lower your heels lower your hands and relax take two deep breaths once more raise your both hands in front interlock your fingers inside out raise your hands up with inhalation now raise your ankle heels up stand on your toes and slowly lower your toes and hands down next asan in the standing pose is virbhadrasan type 1 for this stand with your feet 3 feet apart or 3 times the shoulder width extend your hands in front 
and raise them out raise them up now right foot out turn your upper body to the right now bend your thighs knee bend your right leg downwards the thigh parallel to the ground you are now turning you are now watching only your whole body is in one line and you are watching the one object in front of you you be in this position for 10 seconds very and slowly come back with inhalation come to the normal position and lower your hands now both hands in front and up now left foot out turn your body to the left side bend your knee bend your right left leg with thighs parallel to the ground your back leg is straight and with inhalation go up turn your body to the normal and lower your hands one more time raise your both hands in front and up with inhalation right foot out turn your body to the right with exhalation bend downwards with thighs parallel to the ground right thigh parallel to the ground and right leg left leg is straight and slowly go up and come to the normal position one more time to the left side now raise your both hands up left foot out bend your left leg down thighs parallel to the ground right leg is straight and slowly come up and down come to the normal position we are done with our standing standing asanas now come to the vishram asan in the sitting posture Cons- keep with your eyes closed hands are back palms are down feet are nicely positioned with sideways and concentrate on the parts of the body that have worked during this asanas the standing asanas and observe the changes in the body that has happened as a result of those asanas the next we will be doing is vishram asan we have completed now we come to the dandasan join your both legs together knees are firmly placed downwards and your upper body and the lower body is perpendicular to each other hands are to the sides or on top of your thighs be in this position for 10 seconds and relax now next asan that will be doing is badkon asan or bhadrasan or the gentleman's pose join your both the soles together bring them closer to your perineum interlock your fingers and and hold your both the feet with your both the hands interlock and then now try to lower your knees down with exhalation bring them down as much as possible try to touch your knees to the ground in the final position take and in the final position you could also inhale and exhale but slowly and shallow exhalations and shallow inhalations and relax 
one more time with exhalation press your knees downwards down 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 and slowly relax now come back to vishramasan release your badkonasan now take two deep breaths inhale and exhale inhale and exhale now next let's come to vajrasan come back to dandrasan now fold your right leg and the left leg and you are now in coming to vajrasan now next we will be doing is ushtrasan or the poon ushtrasan or the camel pose so now stand on your knees with both the legs shoulder with the part raise your both hands in front parallel to the ground palm facing downwards now in a circular motion raise your right hand up catch hold of your right ankle now left hand goes up and you catch hold of your left ankle with the left hand now bend your drop your neck backwards and push your waist or the abdomen forward push it forward push it forward be in this position for 10 seconds and with inhalation raise your release your right left hand and the right hand and if you feel dizziness you could just bend forward for a while to regain your full conscious and relaxation now one more time stand on your knees both hands are in front parallel to the ground in a circular motion right hand goes back catch hold of your right ankle left hand goes back and catch hold of your left ankle and then head drops down backwards and then you push your upper body in front forward push your upper body forward and slowly come back left hand comes in the front and then the right hand and then just sit in the vajrasan release your vajrasan and come back to vishramasan now let's go into makarasan in the prone position in this position just lie down on your belly now right hand over the left hand and the head above it and feet are nicely apart and are in the sides you are relaxing very good pose for lowering your blood pressure word of caution for those with high blood pressure sorry low blood pressure may be very careful when they do it because it will instantly lower your blood pressure very good pose for those who are working throughout the day they come home tired and stressed very good for relieving your stress relieving you of all the stresses that you have faced during the day very good relaxation pose come back to normal join your both feet together we will be next doing is saral bhujangasan or a simple cobra pose bring your both hands in front closer to the head now 
elbows are on the ground both the hands are on the ground with inhalation raise your upper body up up to the chest feel the stress on the back lower back very good for lower back and slowly with exhalation come down now we will be put moving our hands parallel to the chest and elbows are slightly raised we'll be doing now food bhujangasan with inhalation raise your upper body up up to the navel region or beyond feel the stress on your back be in this position for 10 seconds and slowly come down and relax in makarasan for few seconds next we'll be doing is shalavasan join your both the legs together bring your both hands below the thighs palm facing up now with the inhalation raise your both the legs up and then slowly bring it down one more time raise your both the legs up and this time the upper body as well and slowly come down now raise your both the legs up and the upper body up with inhalation be in this position for 10 seconds or more as per your body limits and slowly bring your upper body down and the legs down and relax next we'll be doing is dhanurasan or the bow pose for this bend your legs in the from the knees catch hold of the respective ankles and now with inhalation raise your legs up and the upper body up like a bow keep looking in front eyes are nicely closed and be in this position for 10 seconds and then slowly please your exhale and come down now from this we will be going into supine posture So turn your body, and now your body is on the. You are resting on your back. Now relax in this position. We will be, and then we will be concentrating on the parts of the body that have worked during the prone position. Now and relaxing. Take two deep breaths. and we prepare for setu bandhasan or the bridge pose which is anti to the dhanurasan which we had carried in the prone positions for this bend your feet bend your legs from the knees catch hold of your ankles respectively from the right hand and the left hand and raise your body up with inhalation chin is to the closer to the chest your body is resting only on the feet and the shoulders no other part is engaged 
lift your abdomen up and up and up maximum and with gradually with exhalation come down relax take two deep breaths we'll be doing it again inhale and raise your body up your middle portion should be like a bridge you know curved bridge and slowly come down will straighten your legs and come to anandasan for a while relax one more time come to supine position both hands closer to the body palms facing downwards feet together next we will be doing is matsyasan or the fish pose for this lift your hips a bit and place your hands below the hips palms facing downwards now with the support of your elbows raise your upper body up now bend your neck and head downwards with this in such a way that your top of the head is resting on the ground this is the final fish pose be in this position for 10 seconds or more and with the support of the elbows release your head and the hands are relaxed one more time let's do put your hands below the thighs lift your upper body up place your head on the top of the head on the ground be in this position for 10 seconds and then lift again lift your with the support of the elbows release your head and the upper body bring your down release your hands then take two deep breaths now let's prepare for pavan muktasan now fold your legs from the knees interlock your both hands and clasp your knees with your both hands and with exhalation raise your head up try to touch your chin to the knees or the head to the knees and with inhalation come down and release your hands and the knees one more time bend your knees downwards give a gentle massage to your abdomen and then press gently press your abdomen with the pressure of the hands and then now with exhalation raise your upper body up and slowly come back inhaling release your hands release your legs normalize your posture now let's go do some roll rock and roll again bend your knees clasp your knees with the both the hands interlocked raise your upper body up now do a little bit of rock and roll five times and 
in the final position just sit on your both the feet and then slowly come back to the your supine position and then go to the anandasan wherein your hands are little bit away from the body but not too far your legs are apart feet are pointing to the sides let's go into anandasan relax your whole body from feet to the head making micro movement of your toes micro movement of your various leg muscles calf muscles thigh muscles and then abdominal muscles fingers of the hands make micro movement relax your body relax your mind your shoulders are relaxed your head is relaxed your interior of the eyes is relaxed the roots of the hair are relaxed they are just enjoying the relaxed state of the body no thoughts are crossing your mind you are just living in a zero or vacuum condition where is there is nothing around you you are just concentrating within yourself make a micro movement of your both the fingers of the hand and the legs join your both legs together turn to the right side making a pillow of your right hand and the left hand is across your body along along your body legs are slightly bent at the knees now with the support of your both hands we come to the sitting position eyes are closed and let's go into some pranayam or the breathing practices we start with kapalbhati let's for that let's sit in any of the sitting posture sukhasan siddhasan ardh padmasan or purn padmasan as per your convenience as per your relaxation your sitting posture should not bother you while you are doing your kapalbhati your other pranayams so let's start feet are catching your knees hands are catching your knees take two big deep breaths inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and one more time inhale and with half exhalation let's start doing kapalbhati kapal bhati is passive ex- inhalation and active exhalation you are forcing the air out of the body you are forcing your exhalation do it 20 times in the first cycle kapal bhati is not recommended those with high blood pressure those having asthma and those who have had any abdominal surgeries or any heart issues take two deep breaths relax your body regain your breaths let's prepare to do the second round this time we will be doing 30 cycles
स्टॉप इनहेल एंड एक्सेल enjoy the breathlessness of the body for a while you will not feel like breathing because you are hyperventilated it is fairly normal just enjoy the state of zero breath where you don't feel like breathing anymore begin your breath again Take a deep inhalation and exhale. One more time. Take a deep inhalation with half exhalation. Let's start the third cycle. This time we'll be doing it for forty. Stop. Take a deep inhalation and exhale. Now try to regain your breath. Relax and normalize your breathing. Enjoy the state of zero breath or the where you don't feel like breathing. next we will be doing is anulom vilom in the anulom vilom again the same condition applies your spine is straight your head is in the pointing front eyes are nicely closed left hand in the dhyan mudra and the right hand is in pranam mudra in pranam mudra we bend our index finger and the middle finger and the ring finger and the small finger is straight now we will gently close our right nostril with the right thumb and inhale from the left nostril remember the inhalation should be subtle and slow Now close our left nostril and chant the Gayatri mantra or wait for 4 seconds and now release your right nostril and exhale from the right nostril even slower than the rate at which you inhale from the left nostril the rate of exhalation should be half the inhalation rate so if you are inhaling for 1 seconds you should take 2 seconds to exhale now inhale from the right nostril close the right nostril and release from the left nostril This is our one cycle completed. Now we'll be doing the second cycle. Inhale from the right, left nostril. Close the left nostril. Hold it for four seconds and release your right nostril and exhale from the left right nostril slowly and subtly. should be no noise you should not be able to hear your breathing your exhalation and inhalation should be quiet now inhale from the right nostril close your right nostril and release from the left nostril inhale from the left nostril close your left nostril hold it for 4 seconds and release from the right nostril now in 
inhale from the right nostril close your right nostril exhale from the left nostril come back anulom vilom can be done at any point of the day and by anybody it has no restrictions very good for improving your lipid profile now let's next pranayam which we'll be doing is bhramri for this bhramri we will be inhaling and while exhaling we will be exhaling from the throat so we will be making a hum bumble bee sound when we exhale so let's start inhale deeply and constrict your neck and be making a bumble bee sound exhale slowly one more time inhale deeply one more time inhale deeply and start come back now next we'll be doing pranayam is Udgit for Udgit we will be inhaling deeply and we will be opening our mouth and chant om while exhaling from the mouth so let's start inhale deeply and start both bhramri and udgit are very good for management of sleep related disorders anybody with sleep related disorders may perform it before sleeping and you are likely to get a very good sleep now come back and then let's do some dhyan for dhyan just relax your body from toes to the head relax your mind relax your every part of the body put your both hands in your lap left hand below the right hand and both the thumbs are touching each other you could also put your hands in dhyan mudra now close your eyes just concentrate on your breathing at the nostrils as you are breathing in and out let the breathing be natural let the breathing be normal don't force your breathing you are just a distant observant of your breaths as you are breathing feel the warmth of your of the exhaled air at the nostrils and the coolness of the air you are inhaling now 
can slowly take your attention to the Agya Chak. It's the place where you put the Bindi or the Tilak. It's the place between the two eyes. Take your attention now to the top of the head or the crown chakra or the Brahmarandra as we call it. Feel the divine energy entering your body through the Brahmarandra. This energy, divine energy is now being spread and distributed to all parts of the body. Your all the ailments, your all the organs that have got ailments are getting cured from these. You are relaxed. The divine energy is being spread to all parts of the body. This positive energy is is being spread to all parts of the body and they, all, all your ailments the parts of the body that have any ailments are getting treated with this divine energy negative energy is getting out of the body in a thick smoke from the nostrils enjoy the bliss Enjoy this state of lightness, of the weightlessness. You feel like as if you are floating in the air, you are free from all the stress, all the commitments in the world. You are free from all the timelines, all the deadlines that are creating stress. You are free from that. And now just enjoying the bliss you gain from this state of weightlessness, this state of thoughtlessness. You're not thinking anything, you're just relaxed. And you are curing yourself from the divine energy you have received from the Brahmarandra. And you're healing yourself from all the diseases that are there, all the ailments that you have. Take your attention once more to the Agya Chakra. And then bring it, your attention to the nostrils and your breaths as you breathe in, as you breathe out. You are a distant observer to your breathing process. You are feeling the warmth of the exhaled air at the nostrils and the coolness of the inhaled air at the wall of the nostrils. Now gently move your toes, fingers and the hand fingers. Come back to your body. Now rub your both hands together to generate a nice heat and place your both palms on the on your eyes and make a dark chamber and open and close your eyes ten times in the dark chamber. Don't let any ray of light enter the dark chamber. The dark chamber should be properly sealed. One more time. Rub your both hands. This time just place the palms on the eyes and let the heat sink into the eyes. One more rub. This time for the facial muscles into out, down to up. One more time rub. This time for the forehead 
top of the head and the back of the neck one more up for the next in front down to up one more up for the wrist joint for the elbows and the shoulders now place your both palms in front of your eyes and with a gentle smile open your eyes looking at the palm and come back to the normal posture dhyan mitra now we have concluded this session join your both hands and let us prepare for the prayer om sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadraani pasyantu ma kashchit dukh bhag bhave om shanti 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 thank you all thank you all for being with us hope you have gained and deep insight into the various yogasans thank you very much